Now we go to a game called Two Characters. Uh, Jim and Chris, who'd like to come down? Jim, I'd like you to play uh, Captain Kirk of Star Trek fame, and Chris, I'd like you to play Dr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. So, um, but we're not a funny place where they might meet. Obviously oh, not. Laundrette. 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 Do we have laundrettes <laughs> in, in, in America? Laundromat. 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 Anyway, Mr. <laughs> Dr. Spock and uh, Captain Kirk. Spock, that uh, irradiated sock has got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Captain, it would appear as though we have lost one half of the pair of socks. In other words, one of the socks is missing. Yes. Of course, one sock, Spock. Of course, I know that one sock is missing. That's why we came here. Perhaps, Miss Dreyer, have you checked it out with your tricorder? I haven't yet, Captain. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Sounds like you've still got gnats in that tricorder. <laughs> Good deal of suds still left in the washer, Captain. What do you think? What do you think? Is it radiated? Is it radiated? What do you think? This sock appears to be the sock we were missing. Of course. The sock of Pelatuna. <laughs> yes, yes. This is the thing that is holding everybody in a state of perpetual war back on the planet. I was wrong, Captain. This is the sock. Of course. The sock of Pelatuna. This is the sock that's holding everyone within a perpetual state of war. Don't tell me. Wrong again, Captain. Uh... Well, I'm, I'm sorry, this was the improvisation. That was clearly uh, one of the plots of Star Trek you were using there. I'm sure I've seen that episode. One of the more interesting ones. Let's play a game now called... Oh, how many points did I give for that one? Who cares?